Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here, and we're going on with our uh, journey to the center of the universe here in the per permadeath mode, permadeath playthrough that we're doing here. Uh, so we've escaped, in our last episode, we escaped a nice little sentinel battle that we had there. We got ourselves a glyph location that we can get from one of the travelers, and we're in the log, uh, the, what do you call it, the mission called The Purge. But we do have to stop at the Space Anomaly first and talk to Nada. So we're going to do that next, and we're going to do a couple things in there, get some more uh, stuff that we could use, and then head on out. And we'll go on with the rest of our journey. Okay, let's go ahead and pull in the anomaly. Visit our friends here, tell them what's going on. We'll go from there. Interesting planet we were on. I mean, that was pretty nasty in the last episode, having those... Uh, aggressive sentinels as it says there too a lot of planets have this it is part of the permadeath run through it'll put every planet into the category of being able to be aggressive basically just raising the chances of you getting more aggressive planets that's what i should say all right so let's go talk to nada first all right there we go You know now, don't you, of our simulated nature of the end. The Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in six, 16, but we do not, it says here, but we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. How many times has this happened? I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are external to the cycle. All must end. Time must end. Even here, Nada and Polo cannot escape reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Ask what they will do now. Nada and Polo will continue travels, continue acting as we always have. And that's the end of Nada's communication with us. Will I know, traveler friend, when it happens? I suppose it may have happened before again, already, again and again. Do you know if it has? I suppose you must not. No polo about the simulation. No, friend, do not talk about it. We are all... We are anomalous. We have amazing anomaly station. Yes, but... But we are still fabricated beings. We... Not like you, we... Talk of nature brings pain, brings danger, but trust we know, friend, trust we will cry with you, that we will be with you always, no matter the danger or cost. You are friend. Ask about portals. Just devices, traveler friend, to be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with this universe, yes? Appreciate it. That's it. So we're done with Nada and Polo in this journey. We're going to go ahead and pick up a couple items over here including an upgrade for our exosuit while we're at it. But here's where I wanted to go, because I want to learn some uh, some of these. I want to get... We, we would normally get Atlas Passes at some point, but what I'm looking for is this right there. The Warp Hyper Core. Very, very necessary and very much wanted. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I don't care about the recipes. We'll get those later as we continue more and more through our journeys. But this will get us what we're looking for. All right, do we need anything over here? Um, let's go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so we've got an extra slot we can put in. I'm going to put it up here because, again, we're running low. All right, and I'm not going to worry about construction research at this time. We really don't need to worry about building things. We'll worry about that later as we get more and more things. We probably should hit our... Um, base at some point and drop off some things just to get things out of our inventory in here they give us certain things we will get i think yeah it looks like we have all the weapons already so we can install an infra knife accelerator if we wish that would help out things greatly uh, but we will need upgrades as we go we already have a economy scanner so we're good there conflict and cargo deflection i'm not as worried about we haven't gotten our other upgrades. We do have the cadmium drive. But we can get the others as we need. Alright, let's get the Q resonator. That's all I really needed. 
So as we get an upgrade, if we find upgrades for that, for our InfraKnife Accelerator, then we will go ahead and install it. Right now at its base, I don't know if it puts out more damage than the Sentinel Cannon. But we shall see. All right. So we're done with the anomaly. Let's go get a glyph, and then we'll move on. I do want to get those exosuit upgrades out of my inventory. Oh, hello. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge itself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to, but to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. I am going to seek the final interface. Okay. Now, sooner or later, we're going to have a communication with, um, Polo. Uh, not Polo. Apollo. That's a moon, huh? That's no moon. Yes, it is. It is actually a moon. Hopefully, I didn't get a chance to scan this planet, but hopefully it's not bad. I just realized we don't even have a freighter yet, do we? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah. We'll worry about that later, my friend. Alright, there we go. Okay, just making sure this isn't an aggressive sentinel planet. No, it's not. Good, we're safe. Awakened, happened to me, saw myself. I told them I would continue. Root of war, sentinels have. Dreamt of it, red glow, it's vast perfection. Marked by a glyph. So we have a third glyph, but we also get a memory fragment. Yeah, we'll worry about that in a moment. Let's see what we get. Airburst engine. Oh, okay, well that's cool. Um, move you. That's going to be handy. That's recharges as you're dropping, so that'll be really, really handy to have that. Good, 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 good. A good upgrade. All right, away we go. All right, so we got three glyphs. We got 13 more to go. Um, you know what? We want to upgrade our exosuit, don't we? Where are our exosuit? Let's get one. Hopefully it's on the moon. Oh, there it is, that way. Not on the other planet. It is on the other planet. And this planet is... Well, tell me? It's not going to tell me, is it? I think that's the aggressive planet. That's going to stink. Uh, no, it says unknown. That's interesting. I don't think I've landed here then before. Okay, there we go. I was hoping we could have found it on that moon. It would have been easier. Though I'm not sure why it didn't show, me, show it to me there. That's kind of odd. So let's get these two drop pods. I've got two exosuit upgrade charts, so we'll go ahead and grab those. Go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Ah, it's Atlantid as well. Go figure. But we don't have that quest line yet, right? Stream Sentinel. Yep. Just what we wanted, right? Let's make two of those for now. There we go. And we should have enough to get by. Alright, so I'm going to put it up here, and the next one we're going to get is going to put down there. Alright, we're done. Let's go ahead and use the next one. Okay, let's see here. I'll go ahead and do the pullback from here rather than going to my ship first because I don't want to get uh, bound out. And where are you at? Over there? Okay. 
How far out are you? 16 hours. There we go. Stayed out of sight of them the whole time, so that, that came in handy. Uh, okay, we're going to take the other way to get there. And just get this taken care of real quick. Alright, there we go. Down we go. Alright. Park the same way if we can. The right side of the ship facing the drop pod. And we're in. Barely even saw us, right? Nope, we need more sodium nitrate. Well, we had enough, but guess we didn't. Yeah, that should be enough. I was just thinking. We ought to keep a little extra on hand, don't you think? And that's all we need for now. Alright, so we're going to put this one uh, right down there. Alright, while we're here, do a little readjusting. Goes in the ship. I think we got everything we need there. Let's go back to the starship real quick and take a look. Before we get going, I just want to make sure I have everything where I need it. Get you down there. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's go hyperdrive. And off we go. Excellent. We've done. We've done it. So we're out of here. We're going to get out of this system. We're going to find ourselves a dissident one. We need to get some more stuff. Um, why is it going Atlas Station? This should be the Purge. Okay. So we should be going to the center of the galaxy is what we should be doing. Oh, there it is. Galactic Core. That way. All right, so let's go as far as we can. We can go a little over a thousand light years, right? Let's just head this direction here. 1200. Okay, we're in the right general vicinity. Um, we're going to do R because we do want to see economy. And we're looking, you see it says water. We're going to look for dissident. We can't go to all these systems because we don't have the right hyperdrive. But we really want the yellow star systems anyway. So, you know, water, 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 water. We have no idea what they have. Water. No idea. Water. Water. This isn't, shouldn't be difficult to find. Not normally, right? Normally I can find a bunch of them, but today it wants to be difficult, apparently. Get out of that nebula. Good grief, that thing's like blinding. Huh. I would expect us to be able to find something here. Oh, wait a minute. Dissonant. Not dissident. Dissonant. My, my bad. So we got two. We got a Viking system that is at F0. And this one's F3. That's a little bit better. And we got a couple moons. Let's go ahead and go here. It's only a two star, but that's all right. So we should get our first glyph here. We may be talking to Apollo as soon as we pop out. Well, first glyph, I should say, really, fourth glyph. So that's the good thing about the purge, is it gives you a glyph every time you hyperdrive. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I wonder if we can get out of this like I usually do. Let's try it. I'm going to try to get into the uh, freighter here. There's our data injection that gives us a glyph. Whoop, oh, it worked. 
that was close. Okay, so that worked. Let's see, what's this voice that we're getting? They left us, duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates to secure the site in case I don't make it back, please. Dreams of the Deep. Okay, we'll do that in another episode. <laughs> and we'll have to restart the episode at some point. Alright, so we're not going to do the Dreams of the Deep. It's automatically selecting that. We'll come back. We're still in the middle of the purge. So we're looking for a dissonant world. Dissonance. Dissonant. Dissonant. Get that second N in there. I gotta get that right. And that's it. Endless Morass. That is actually a beautiful system. Let's go ahead and go to it. That looks really pretty. All right, so we're not like on a fugitive run where I need to go look for sur for, for crashed ships or anything like that, but... Ooh, look at it. It's all purplish. Purplish on us. All right, so we need to land at some point. Hey, landing pad. I'll take it. That way we don't have to waste anything, and we just got to pick up a bunch of uh, radiant shards. Maybe we'll discover some creatures while we're here. Two. And we're getting money for them, too, so, hey, you know, it's not, it's not uh, put that down any, right? Three of ten. So we'll get a lot of nanites from discovering all the creatures on this planet. Four. I think we need to hit the ocean. What do you think? Five. That was pretty good. We already got five creatures and we did barely have started here. Alright, let's go into the water and check it out. Okay, bring it up just a touch. And wait for them to pop in. There's six. There's seven. Anybody else? Okay. Let's check real quick. Uh, let's see. Ground, ground. So two more on the ground. And which, which direction do we go on this? There we go. Ground. Three more, and they're all on ground. Good. None underground. Just what I like. And now we're going to look for Atlantidium and some Radiant Shards. And it doesn't look like we're getting attacked by anything, because these are, as you can see, Corrupted Sentinels. All right. We got our hijack laser all set. It looks like we got some Radiant Shards there, and we got a whole crop of them over there. Let's go ahead and head over and grab some. We shouldn't have anything to worry about on this planet. So, there's a little bit of a grind here, but it's handy. And they'll check it out. It's okay. One more. There we go. Let's go. Looked like there was a whole bunch over by these trees over here. And we've got to look for more, some more ground creatures. There's one right in front of me. Kind of a hopping mushroom type dude. Let's take another quick look around. Got two more ground creatures. Don't see them, so let's continue on. And there they are. Nice crop of them. Radiant Shards. Nice. What a nice crop of these, huh? I'll take the Living Fragments too, because we can use that. 
All right, that was great. Anyway, we should probably stop there. Okay, where do we got more? Looks like we have more over there, and we got ourselves a creature as well. Let's head over and meet the missus. Should be right there. Ooh, what in the world is that thing, huh? Look at that. Like a hopping plant. Gentle, elderly, and prime. Let me go check him out. Wow, look at that, huh? Living fragments. These look like living fragments, too. Okay. And we got another terminal thing down there. With some sentinels. We could learn a recipe or two there, but we're getting plenty of... Um... Nanites, so I'm not really too concerned about that anymore. We got, what, one more creature to learn? One more red dot to find, if you will. There he is. I think we got him. Is that it? Yeah! That's it, 2,500 nanites, look at that. Fantastic. Okay, and we got some radiant shards over there, let's go ahead and grab them. Like I said, I want as many as I can. We're going to be doing a lot of hopping around the universe. As far as a lot of... Uh, um, hyperspace, I should say. Oh, uh, that'll give me the achievement. Yes, seven planets. Nice. Looks like these were all radiant shards. So that's good. All right. How many do we have now? Let's see. Oh, wow. We got 20 of them, huh? I'm thinking let's get nine more. Let's complete out the stack. There's a bunch up there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And that'll be heading in sort of the direction of our ship. Our ship should be over there someplace, I think. In the world is our ship? I did that again, didn't I? Yeah, it's over there. Okay, yeah, so that's kind of heading in the right direction. It's kind of a pretty planet, isn't it? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. So if we can get two more, that'll be great. Let's head this direction. There they are. That'll work. Wow, there's a, there's a crap ton on this planet. Good grief, there's so many. See, there's another cropping over, over there, too. We'll grab it while we're here. We're still early. It's not early game, but it's early enough that we could, it's always handy to find more stuff. And even though we have 50 of these, it's still a good idea to grab as many as you can when you can. Um, I'm going to grab as many as I can here. Because I was just going to grab two, but seeing this huge crop of them... Superheated rainstorm. Okay, let's go ahead and head back. Ship should be right over there. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, there's a Gravitino boss. Hmm. Interesting. Grab him. Just grab him. Like I said, I was only going to grab one. I know I'm getting kind of a little bit greedy here. But... I just get the feeling we're going to need a bunch, so... Alright, we're shipped there. Okay, good. Head back. Alright, that should be all we need. And because it's a superheated rainstorm, if it gets up to snuff, I 
My jetpack will last a little bit longer. Looks like we're at maximum now. There we go. Should make it back easily now. Down we go. Alright. Awesomeness. Okay, looks like we got everything we need. Just make sure these don't have anything around them. They do not. Okay. Back to the ship. And we're in. So, let's move everything over, shall we? Two, three, four stacks. And plenty of Atlantidium. See? Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. So we got plenty of charge to go. And while we're at it, um, let's produce just a few of those. Let me just see here. Let's take uh, antimatter, right? So let's put in just a couple of antimatters. There we go. Let's do one, two, three. I'm going to do five. And then, there we go. So now we have extras of those. Okay. Um, all right, I think we're good. Yeah, we should be good for now. Put you down here. Radium pyrite. Just want to make sure I've got everything in order before we get going. All right, so we should have plenty of charge now to get through whatever we're going to be going through. All right, here we go. No reason to spend any more time in this system. Next system, here we go. Now it's just a hop, skip, jump, right? That way. We don't have to go to the center of the galaxy. We don't even have to get all the way there. Um, we'll just hit the next system. This looks perfectly fine. We don't have to worry about black holes or anything like that. We're just going to keep getting more stuff here as we go. So right now, we're not even going to stop at space stations. We're just going to jump into a system, get the stuff we need, communicate if we have to, move on to the next system. Wait for the purge. There it is. And we have our glyph. That's number five. It says two of 16, but don't worry about it. It all works out in the end. Okay. Next system. No Apollo yet. On we go. And what we're going to do in one of these episodes is we're going to go ahead and start just do a quick grind. And we'll do some talking and stuff like that while we're at it. And the grind will just be upgrading the exosuit a little bit more and upgrading the ship if we can. Perhaps even finding a new one. Um, this one's great. It works fine. But getting myself an A-class one would be kind of nice, wouldn't it now? Oh, we have communication coming up. Who do you think it might be? Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. A simulation. Everything's not real. It, it feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. And I've been thinking about that. If the problem of this universe are due to the, gal the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes, I bet we have years before we die. Ask what they plan to do been thinking a lot about it. How we couldn't meet even though we seem to be standing in the same place? I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think. Anyway, it's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. Say goodbye. I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I'm on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. We speak of the memories we have shared, though we did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet. 
They say that they are proud to have worked with me. Goodbye, friend. Apollo was great, wasn't he? I mean, and it's funny because you get to know Apollo at the beginning. You're thinking, oh, what a jerk this guy is. But he turns out to be possibly even a better friend than Artemis might have been. So, who knows? We have one more communication to get through. Uh, where's center? There's center. Let's head off this way. We'll pick a system. Yeah, this is good. A little too far, I think. Yeah, I went a little too far. How about you? Uh, you. Yeah, it's fine. Just go there. And then we'll keep going and going and going and going and going and going. Now this, once we complete the storyline, we don't actually go to the center of the galaxy here. So when we get done with the storyline, we're going to do the Atlas storyline. And as we're doing the Atlas storyline, we're going to try to progress to the center of the galaxy. Wait for the purge to come. There it is. This should be Glyph 7, I think. There it is. We have no communications going on. Let's move on. There we go. Towards the center again. Alright, now we're getting into the... Let's just pick a world. That's fine. And there we go. Flash of the Jets. Probably gonna get on the communication at this point, because we still have to talk to Null. Because Null's gotta come in here and cry and whine and complain. There it is. There it is, Glyph 8. No communications going on. We move on. There we go. Oop. Wrong button. If you hold your shift button down while you do that, you can go real quick. See? Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I think we went too far. Nope. Out of jump range. There we go. Out of jump range. How far? 1400. Still out of jump range. You? There we go. 1334 is not out of jump range. Go ahead and grab it. Sooner or later, another starship battle will occur. But we'll use the same technique. We'll just run to the front ship and we'll try to go in through its uh, launch bay. Docking bay, if you will. Hmm, what's our journey? Rover, huh? Oh, 25 times? Yeah. Let's wait for our glyph. There it is. And still no communications. I'm surprised Null hasn't said anything. Usually by now we have Null. But nothing yet. Oops, wrong way. That way. That looks like far enough. Yeah, it's fine. Just go there. We're not really concerned about the economy of the system. We're just going to stay there for a few moments. Another sip of water. There we go. Okay. It's amazing how many first contacts there are, aren't there? Still for Euclid. Euclid. <laughs> Ten glyphs. Still no comms from him. No, still nothing. Okay. Moving on.
Yeah, why not? Shake it up a little bit with a pirate system. It's funny, we haven't had to recharge our hyperdrive yet. Sooner or later, we're going to have to. Isn't that pretty? My gosh, look how pretty that is. Let's get lined up just a little bit. Signal received. Come on. Look at that. I am definitely taking a shot of that. Okay, continue on. Still nothing from, uh... Null. There we go. Such a visually beautiful game, it really is. So once we get all of our glyphs, we're going to call this episode ended. Possibly. See how fast we can get it done. We still have that communication. Oh, here's, here's our comms. Guess who it is? You are not alone. You can't go to the center. You can't do this to us. You can't leave us. Insist you are going. No, you can't do this to us. You can't. The center. The center of each galaxy. It's the atlas. It's all just... It's all... It's all else just interfaces. All else a shadow of its might. You. You don't deserve it. You, you, you'll you wipe us all. They've... Yeah, he knows. Ask how they know. I, I did what I had to do. I told you that. I couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. I did what I had to do. But the Atlas, it won't let me back in. It won't speak to me. It, it... Ask what Null did. You already know what he did. I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to. It was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me, wipe me, all those souls that will have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life for more life. They sustain me. They... It can't all have been for nothing. I was going to see it all. I'm going to condemn him for what he did. Tell Null that they are despicable. As Null cries... As they try to justify their crimes, I end the communication. There's nothing left but the path towards the center. So, yeah. He did some nasty stuff. He actually killed other... Well, that's interesting. I still have plenty of charge. There's our 12th glyph. He actually killed other travelers to get what he wanted. And he, yes, he did reset the... He obviously has reset before here. But he knew he had reset it. Apollo did not recall resetting it. He didn't know. So when we found his crashed ship, yeah, it was a reset of him that didn't, that didn't actually occur. It was very interesting. So let's move on. So we're going to go on to the center. And this is it. So we're going to get four more glyphs. We might have one more communication from Apollo, if I remember correctly. Let's wait for our glyph, and then we'll move on to... This will be number 13. There it is. There it is. Let's go on to 14. you see we have 694,000 up there. Yeah. Still out of jump range. There we go. 694,000 light years to get to the center. So if we do it the old-fashioned way, that's how that's how long it'll take. I mean, we can get an, uh, we have portal addresses we can acquire that'll allow us to get really really close to the center. So that may be something we look into doing.
Okay, we got 30 jumps, I think, or 35, something like that. Wait for our... There it is. That should be number 14, I think. There it is. Two more jumps. That's good. Just go. So this will be the 15th glyph, and then we'll get the 16th. And... We're out. There we go. Okay, so there it is. 15. There we go. Let's go on to 16. Now, something I've learned... There's the center. There it is. Is that... Unless you really like your multi-tool damaged, make sure you have a second multi-tool on you. And before you, it comes to an end, switch over to an alternative multi-tool, or else the multi-tool you have will be damaged, and you'll have a long time in repairing it. Okay, this should be 16. And I think one, one more communication from Apollo, if I remember correctly. No? And there it is. Number 16. There we go. Now we can go three more jumps, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check something real quick here in our log. Yeah, nothing more. We're just going to continue on then. And I'm just going to go like that. And I'm going to pick something real quick that looks good. Amazing how many jumps you can make on the drive on these ships, huh? You know, you'll get the data purge thing again here. There we go. Not that it makes a difference. There we go, that's 14. Let's do the last two jumps. Yeah, it's fine. I just want to see how close we can get before it all comes crashing down on us. Because we are going to sooner or later have to land on a planet. I think it forces us somehow. I don't quite remember how. How many times I've played through this and I don't remember. It's funny. To avoid the asteroid field, thank you. And here we go. Okay, that's 15. And here goes 16. Yeah, it's fine. Plenty far enough. There we go. This should be the last one. So this should end the mission, The Purge. This should be the end of that. And then we can move on to whatever else is next. Which should be the end end. Hmm. Lines. Okay. Must be trade, not trade routes. Okay. Do we have a planet nearby? That looks pretty cool. As long as it's not aggressive, it's dusty, that's fine. Okay. Locate and enter the final, final portal. Energy surge detected, portal ley line located. Now you're going to take me to that crappy planet, are you? Let's check it out. Life incompatible. 
Ah, fascinating. Let's do this. So this is going to be it. Once we're out of the ship... It should be it. So this will be a slightly longer episode. We'll make sure that the next episode is a little bit shorter. Looking for the portal. Looking for a big, huge monolith. Looking thing. Should be able to see it. That looks like it right there. Look for the fog. Creepy, isn't it? So, as a precaution, we're going to switch our multi-tool. So I don't know what I'm even using. I think that's the one I'm using, the theoretical arc injector. Um, let's use this theoretical arc injector. Just check it real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And here we go. One thing I want to do real quick. Let me grab you. Put it in my inventory. Just have a hunch. All right, shall we? Ugh. We have to do this garbage again. All right, here we go. Condensed. 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 Oh, we don't have enough sodium nitrate to go by. Yes, we do actually, but that's okay. I'll just use the regular sodium. That's fine. We only need 12. 48. Okay, what do we need here? Dihydrogen. Dihydrogen. Dihydrogen and dihydrogen. Yes, I'm doing it in a weird manner. Don't make fun of me. Copper we should have, I think, enough of. Yeah, we do. All right, there we go. 16s, Atlas Protocol initiated, Portal Shimmers, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. We're going to activate it. You notice it doesn't ask us to put in the glyphs? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is it. Yep, one of those planets. Light gravity. Love it. Anyway. Here we go. This should be Atlas End, if I'm not mistaken. Now, whether it pops us into space or inside an atlas or just on another planet, I don't quite remember at this point. We're about to find out in just a few moments. Any moment. Any moment. There we go. Okay. Where's my ship? No ship. Guess what? This is it. While we're here, let's get it real quick here. Whoa. Oh, it's 107. Okay, so this is a pretty decent planet. It should start counting down soon, folks. Let's enjoy what we've got. There it is. This is C CISO Song 7. And we're about to finish the main line. Here we go. Watch your ears. Looks familiar, doesn't it? I don't think there's any bubbles anymore. Yes, there are none. As you can see, even if we go up here, you'll see there's not even one down there. So we're not going to get any words out of this one. Matter of fact, you know what else we're not going to get? 
not going to get any warp hyper cores because we've reached our destination. We're going to say goodbye to the Atlas. The Atlas is silent. It watches me. We're going to cry out because we don't want to just leave. We're just going to continue to cry out every single time. I cry out thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things I have seen. Of Artemis, who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted an, e an end to their loneliness. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. Cry out. Cry out thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. If I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler, stand your ground. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, had I just performed a reset? At someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final tr truth of the simulation. To know who the travelers truly are. And then, a thousand galaxies will be gone, and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. Ask if there's another way. I don't think there is. I plead with the Atlas, but it does not listen. There is no other way. It repeats the, uh... The Atlas requires my choice. While it lives, it can still create. The resets will not stop that. I do not know what to do, or what it wants me to do. So we're going to reset the simulation. I have to know what happens. And here we remain. We are the only one left. Apparently the universe is pretty much gone, and we are the only one left inside. So we continue on to this end here. And here we are. So here's what we get to do. We get to decide what kind of galaxy we want to do here. We've got red, green, blue, and uh, this kind of off-colored white. Um, I always choose either green or blue. I prefer green or blue, personally. Um, they're always a better galaxy to go with. Uh, red is an angry galaxy, and we don't want to go with an angry galaxy. So I'm going to go, I think, green this time. Let me just check the name here. Halcyon. Okay, simulation of its own world. It's pending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. Let me just check something. Let's check the other one. And I think... An exhausted galaxy. Okay, very low... Um, stuff here. Let's put it that way. I don't want that. I need things. And I'm curious, what was this one again? An imperfect one. Okay. Hmm. It's tempting, but I'm going to go back to green. Definitely not going to touch the red. And in case you want to see it, I'll show you that real quick. A ruthless galaxy. Okay. So that means you're going to have a lot of angry sentinels there. Okay, folks? Go to green. It'll be the easier way to go, and that's what I want to do here. All right. Reset. You ready? Witness the end. And I'll mute my mic for this.
as you all know, as the music starts to fade out a little bit more, Eisentum is the 10th galaxy, not the second. It's the 10th galaxy in the line. There are two through ten, three through nine. Uh, one of those are also the Hilbert dimension. Uh, with the Eisentum galaxy, you uh, you get into a very peaceful area. A lot more paradise planets will exist here. Now, I don't know if that's part of this or if literally my graphics card is having a little trouble with processing the information coming through. But either way, we have landed on Untas. And what kind of planet do we have here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm supposed to craft that. Okay. So our analysis visor is damaged. You see our ship is in really bad shape. Our multi-tool is destroyed. So aren't we glad? Remembrance. Yeah, we'll be making that later. Okay. So we're going to get to our ship. And I'm going to choose my other multi-tool. Because it is not damaged. So we're back to some semblance of normality, and we should be able to see our ship someplace, which is straight in front of us down there. Uh, what kind of planet do we have? Humid, occasional, resources, typical fauna, regular patrols, nothing special there. Weather is just simply humid, so we're going to have some heat storms on occasion. All right, set to our ship, and we're going to call this episode complete. Oh, look at that. We're near a freighter, too. So we'll explore that in the next episode as we explore our new galaxy, Eisentum. And if any, any of you have not been to the Eisenton Galaxy, very, very nice place to be. So, all right, we are at our ship. Let's go ahead and grab some things. Real quick, we'll get our iteration going. We are going to broadcast. Okay. And we're done. All right, we'll gather up supplies in the next episode, folks. We are back. We're going to have a lot of repairs to do this ship, so we'll get back to work on that. So I want to thank you all again for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe, and we will see you all in the next episode one more time, starting with a brand new galaxy. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching.